Well, howdy, folks. Welcome to another Ride Along with Randy. And today, we're trying something entirely different. We are going down to the city. And what us people up here in the hills call the flatlands. And I'm going to see the cityscape, the beach, traffic. I mean, stuff that I have not seen in a really long time. So, uh, we'll see how it works out. See you in a bit. What a kick. Here we are getting on the freeway. This brings back memories of actually going to a job. Uh, last, uh, let's see, a year and a half ago, I guess I've been retired for almost two years. And this is uh, very interesting. So it's a beautiful day up here. The first leg is La Jolla Village, uh, just north of San Diego. I'm gonna go check that out. I have a full tank of gas. The round trip is, is supposed to be something like 150 miles, so I shouldn't even see a gas station today. So uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, I'll see you on the uh, next segment. So here's an interesting observation. It's uh, 9.45 in the morning during the week, and I have had free-flowing traffic the whole way. Back in the day, when I would be going to work, this would be gridlock. And it would be gridlock until 10.30, something like that. And I have been just moving along, being passed by people, and it's pretty interesting um, probably due to the virus and all that stuff and San Diego not being quite back to pre-virus conditions working you know people working going to work whatnot but uh, yeah just an interesting observation and I see some fog up there which is going to be another new thing for me even though I've had kind of fog up in the mountains it burns off within minutes and down here it's going to be entirely different it's only 73 degrees right now which is kind of a kick but uh, anyway we'll uh, we'll see you in the next segment well this is more like it I got a big red line on my map and it's only a two-laner part of the road and this has always been like this just a lot of people going to La Jolla or La Jolla you know so uh, it says 10 minutes for 2.3 miles Wow so I guess I'll uh, turn on an old movie audio and uh, just kind of chill out and look at people because uh, I haven't seen this in a long time. This is actually kind of cool. I know in a sick way. But anyway, see you on the next segment. Well, here I am. <laughs> I haven't seen the ocean in like a couple years. This is actually pretty cool. And uh, so I'm going to get out and actually see things. So, you know, um, people walking by. No masks. How cool is that? But anyway, see you in the next segment.
So this is uh, La Jolla, down by the beach. Lots of people down here. And uh, ah, what a neat place. Haven't been here in years. It's so nice and the weather is just like perfect. It's 72 degrees, the sun is out. It is really nice. Got hotels here, all kinds of stuff. Got the ocean. I have not seen the ocean in a long time. But uh, I stopped, got out, and took some pretty neat shots. So I'll throw them in the video so you can see these. And uh, see you on the next segment. So here we are on the way to the lighthouse and to my left is the National Cemetery. Been here before for different events for the veterans and whatnot. And um, you know, I think we'll drop in. What do you think? Yeah, we'll drop in. And then uh, after this, I'm gonna go to the lighthouse. So I'll, I'll see you on the next segment. Here we are at the National Cemetery. This is, uh, what a place. USS Wasp. USS St. Lowe, originally Midway, and all the names. Wow. Anyway, this is a pretty solemn place. You can see the fog coming in. It's a uh, 68 degrees maybe. I am not used to this. But anyway, let's uh, continue on to the lighthouse. Well, that was pretty cool. Off to your right, I uh, went up there and did some 360s on the Berkeley, which is like a riverboat. And this is the Maritime Museum in San Diego. Great place to, you gotta visit this if you come to San Diego. They got about six ships. The Star of India is here, which is supposed to be haunted, but uh, I've done an investigation on it and we found nothing. So, you know, hard to say. Ghosts just don't show up when you show up. And now we are going to head off to Coronado Island and go see what's happening out there. And then uh, after that, we'll see. So I'll see you on the next segment. All right, we are on the Coronado Bridge, looking down on everything going over the bay and uh, on our way to Coronado now and I'm gonna go see what I can see and uh, then I'll see you on the next segment all right 
Well, here we are at uh, the Coronado Hotel, which I really wanted to shoot some video in there for you guys, but there is nowhere to park. So I think we are just going to head on down to Imperial Beach, and I'll have to pick this up some other time maybe. And uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. But then, this is kind of getting to the height of the tourist season. And, well, just got to deal with that. So anyway, I'll see you at the next segment. I'm in Imperial Beach, California, which is south of San Diego. Getting pretty close to the border. And I see a McDonald's up ahead. Oh, my gosh. I need a couple of regular cheeseburgers those like just perfect for the road and then definitely a uh, a coca-cola I think is is in order to kind of pep me up on my little trip here so uh, my next place is we're heading to a small lake I think it's called lower Ote Lake or Otai and so uh, the next time you hear from me, we should be at Lower Ote Lakes. So uh, see you then. Okay, this is more like it out in the out in the open, and I want to get down there. I want to go down there and check it out. Okay, this is a uh, Lower Ote Lake. Oh man. Lake is open only on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. So how do those cars get in there? Excuse me. I just want to go check it out. Wow, that sucks. Huh. Well, okay. So now, after cruising since about 9 o'clock this morning, I think it's maybe time to head home but we'll see we'll see what we find out and uh oh road ends I'm gonna fall off into the end of the earth uh oh well I'll keep you posted and I'll see you on the next segment well here we are at Ote Lower Lake and I tell you what this is one of the most inaccessible lakes that I've ever been to it's really pretty and I would like to go down and you can see across the way all the way over there that would have been a neat place to get down by the water but it was closed so that kind of sucks but anyway kind of a neat place so we'll uh, go up here A loud motorcycle go by. Go find myself a little cheese room. But um, yeah, it's good to be back out away from the city. The city's okay to visit once in a while, once in a great while. But as you can see, being out here is just really, really cool. This is nice. Nice little park for the bring the family out stunning view and it's getting warm I believe it's about 85 something like that but anyway so this is Ote Lake and see you on the next segment so you can't even access anything here and basically I paid three dollars to use the restroom because there's just, there's nothing else. It's amazing. It looks like they may allow boats out there and stuff like that, but uh, I don't know. Well, I think it might be time to start heading back to the old homestead, the old ranch. There's really nothing on the itinerary today. This was uh, pretty much a 
down in the city flatland thing it was really cool that I got a whole bunch of 360s that I'm excited to post and took a few pictures you know still photos uh, I made this video and so this will probably get posted in a couple days but anyway I want to thank you all for going on a, on another ride along with Randy and I'll see you on the next adventure.